What's up, guys, and welcome. Welcome to Little Hope. I am extremely excited to officially start the full playthrough on this game. This is a game that we've been waiting for a long time, ever since it got announced, and it's finally here. The game's only about four, five, six hours, so it's not really going to be a long series, but I do feel that it's, in fact, going to be a really, really interesting one indeed. I'm excited, man. Thank you guys for being here. If you guys want more Little Hope here on the channel ASAP, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Sit back, relax, grab a snack, and uh, <laughs> let's do this. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited right now. By the way, a huge thank you to my friends over at Bandai Namco. They gave me early access to the game. I've had it for a while. Well, thank you. I love these types of games. Ooh, what that book say? Look like some witch ritual or something. I could be wrong. I probably... I'm just probably paranoid. That guy... Wait, the diner is open? Doesn't look open. The sign says open, but it's... Interesting. This is going to be a freaking deer or something. Is there multiple people in that bus? What is going on here? Oh my God. Something is going to happen, I swear. So is this the bus that we're in? Stay trooper. God, the game looks so, so good. I wonder if it's going to have a port for uh, next-gen consoles. That'd be interesting. Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. All right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. <laughs> or so he thought. Yeah, this is this is the cop that screwed us over. That guy. really really dark really whereas man of a dan started off like oh we're gonna go on a little boat trip fake k and then you get screwed by pirates this this is just dark this guy knows what's up this guy knows something is up how long have you been sober a few shy of three months impressive i heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest i know it doesn't add up but I get something from holding on to this. I'm gonna Why enable all away? subtitles after it's this. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. It's all okay. Oh, hey. please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? <gasps> Little detour, they said. Little detour. Yeah. Just a little. The bearing update. What is that? So a girl stood on the road, caused the bus driver to lose control and crash the bus. Well, no shit.
Stop it, James. You know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson <laughs> held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this not is the me? only one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <sighs> so remember, on the demo, you actually go not back tonight. in time. No way. So this is, I'm assuming, back in time. I want to say I'm pretty, pretty. I mean, or is it? Tanya's late. She always is these days. Okay, so before we continue, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna put on subtitles because I actually went to subtitles and I put minimal, but it doesn't show anything. So I'm just gonna put off. I say nothing. There, there's give her a break. She's always being late. At least one of us is out having a good time. So this guy looks different. Give her a break. It's him I'm worried about. That guy's no good for her. All that new age bullshit. Reminds me of some creepy cult. <clears throat> he came in last week. We shot the breeze a little bit. I like him. That one's a classic. Legendary vinyl. Quit pawing at it, will you? Oh my god, dude, these graphics are insane. <laughs> Hey, Bigfoot, find the goddamn vinyl, will you? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Sometimes it's best not to say anything Christ, at all. You're like a kid possessed. Your head will start spinning around in a minute. Man, this is a dark, dark game. Jesus. <laughs> Ice. <laughs> Number one, Dad. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. Oh, that's her boyfriend. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again. They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? From that we got. Disappointed. Uh, Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 million time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Muse, Dennis is being Dennis. He's being a jerk. Uh, amused. Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. I will say, I'm really intrigued. Everything hey, is just so mysterious so far. Hey! More so than Madame Dan. Sis, I'm busy. <gasps> hey! Quit acting crazy! Uh-oh. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus! You scared me, sweetie. 
sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Bro, that little girl is freaky. She's freaky, dog. Maybe you should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her if you don't have other plans. I'll go find her. I don't like this house, dude. It's like when you watch The Conjuring, like those types of house, uh, those types of houses. They're just freaky, man. I yeah. Press and hold R2 um to pick up an object. To examine it. Possess. This matches, right? Okay. Press X in time with the heartbeat. Button will change angle during. Oh, I remember this, dude. This was. This is crazy. And it looks like it's easy, but when you're under stress and you're like in the moment, it gets a little. Oh, God. It's okay, Dad. I know you're drunk, you're tired from work. I'm just gonna shut off the TV. Don't scare me, he's gonna grab my hand. No? Okay, good, good. Sometimes you gotta expect the you unexpected. You need to keep an eye on your little sister. Mom is real worried about her. Hmm. Reassuring. It's okay, Dad. Ten years checking on her right now. You want to try raising a family like this? The devil himself would struggle with you guys. Okay, check on Tanya. Man, this game looks so freaking good. So we don't know exactly where she's at. All I know is that she's going to jump at us. Shroud of Innocence, a must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Gonna walk over here. One of the things about this game is the fixed camera angles. They are extremely underrated in horror games. I know they're no longer as popular as they used to be, but they're very, very creepy. New England Witch Trials. Okay. What is up with all these witch trial books, man? Look around. There may be hidden information. Okay. Hello? Something's going to jump out. Something's going to come out. Something's going to jump out. Hey, I don't see anything. Anthony, Honestly. Anthony, where are you, God damn it? Anthony, I'm getting really pissed off. Anthony, I swear if you don't answer me. Bro, this chick is creepy, you could be dude. Right my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? 
That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on. It's gonna blow. Shit! Megan! You in there? Oh my the god. The on fire! Are you fucking serious? Bro, did you see that creature next to her? How crazy? Oh my god, that's sleeping. He's drunk. And then this guy's in the fucking mom. attic. Oh my god. And then mom is taking a shower. Where the oh. hell is everybody? Anthony, help! It's like everything was pre-planned. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The little girl has got a demon. I'm helping Tanya. Fuck that. <gasps> that's probably not a good idea. Oh my god, that's probably not good. Did I do the wrong? Oh my god. Use the window, climb down. Fuck! Use the window. Try the window! Hurry! God, this is so. Oh my god, this is a horrible idea. No, you're gonna. Wow. 
This is our uh, psychiatrist, Hello. if you will. <laughs> and welcome. I don't believe that we've met before, have we? Oh, uh, we no have. Matter. Welcome to my yes. repository. Madam and Dan. I am the curator. The curator. The guardian of all these wonderful stories. And I have a very special tale for you to tell. Oh, man. I got paranoid when the music plays in the back. I think that my videos are just going to be totally screwed. If at any point in time in this video, I kind of mute certain parts, I just know it's because there's probably been some sort of strike, which blocks the video and stuff like that. So <laughs> disconcerting, no? A little hope. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Now, mind you, there's more stories coming, meaning more games. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. It's only part written. And the choices you make will complete it. Hmm. I like it. The fire. No, there was nothing you could have done about that. Oh. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? So everyone was supposed to die. To enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world how disturbing <laughs> might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take there are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel we seldom have all the information that we'd like but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want as in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you, rational, emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. This guy's kind of creepy himself. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, <laughs> apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope. That okay. will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future. Something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. Very, very interesting. I want to see, like, weren't those all the main characters we played with all those people in the demo? Like, none of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. That was her boyfriend, right? Everything is so strange right now. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Like, obviously witchcraft, you know, but, uh, I'm 
Android. What? Now we know that the same characters play different roles. If you guys remember. Now this is after the after the bus crash. I was his father, now it's the college professor. Rational, overbearing. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. <sighs> Instead of goofing around, you want to lend a hand here? How's he doing? What do you want me to do? How Passion. is he doing anyway? It doesn't look that serious. Could be concussed. Okay, professor. Or should I call you doctor now? Why don't you try calling for help? <coughs> Maybe the cops, someone like that. Uh, compliant. I'm, I'm on it. I already tried once, but I'm on it. God, this game looks so good. Your current character traits can be... Okay, so these are the character traits. Hopeful, insightful, flirtatious, uh, flirtatious <laughs> sensitive. Okay. Hey, Andrew, buddy. How you doing? Where are we? What happened? Yeah, the bus crashed. We're okay, though. Just shaken up. If you say so. I don't remember being in any crash. You're, you're probably in shock. Maybe a mild concussion in there, too. Give yourself some time. Stay here. Don't move. <clears throat> Fucking thing, useless piece of crap. Oh my god, I thought that was something else. Okay, take it easy. We'll figure out what to do. This is what happens when you drive through a little uh. hope <laughs> during the nighttime. I don't even think the sun rises here. Daniel, 20 years old, college student. Fuck, where's my phone? Oh. He's all the way at the bottom. Holy smokes. Where's the old lady at? The mother. Angela, mature student, a mature student, abrasive understanding. Oh, so she's a student herself as well in this? Okay. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, Daniel, that you? John, good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? <laughs> I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. <coughs> mm. oh. Hey, Taylor. Uh. Help me get Andrew up on his feet, will ya? Wait. I don't remember anything. Wh who are you? It's okay. What? You're concussed. I'm John. You're a college professor. <coughs> we were taking a bus on a field trip, but that didn't work out so well. Crash wasn't on the curriculum. <laughs> uh, we'll find the others, get some help. Think of it as a character building exercise. Oh my god, I want to grab my water! Come on, you can do it. Jesus. You're good. You gotta be on your tippy toes in this Team game, okay? At its finest. <laughs> I had this dream. It was so real. Flames all around us. It was grim. That bang on the head must have been a beauty. That trail the others are on will come out down the road. We'll meet them there. We should talk this through. Why leave the bus? Not like we have somewhere better to wait. No. We could be here all night. Our best move is to get to the others, then head towards town. See if we can find some help. Where's the driver? Shouldn't he be back by now? The driver's done what we should be doing. Gone into town for help. He 
could just as easily have banged his head and walked off the other way. Fine. You can stay right here. I'll go myself. Hey, Professor! Uh, he is a professor, right? I'm still fuzzy. Can we stick together? I don't want to wait on my own. I guess he's right. We should all stick together. I got no signal either. Must be some kind of black spot. Or you didn't pay your last bill. You get that during the crash? <sighs> guess so. Oh, what the hell? All right, so use L to move. Follow John, meet up with Angela and Daniel. Find the bus driver. What crawled up the professor's ass? I think Probably. Show him a little more respect. He thinks he's smarter than us, but book smart is no good out here. He's all up himself, acting like the big man on campus. I probably should have actually just not tried to go against the professor. Um, I just really didn't want to go into Little Hope. Welcome to Unreadable Abandoned Hope. It says Little Hope. <laughs> but now it's called Abandoned Hope. You know this place? Little Hope? No. I mean, I don't think so. You should both know Little Hope. Why should I? Why should I have heard of this place? Seriously, this place is steeped in history. Fascinating stuff. H how do you know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> I'm a professional academic. I read books. Unlike some. <laughs> Easy, Einstein. I can match everything you got with just a smartphone. <laughs> uh, your phone isn't so smart without a signal. That's true. Millennials. Okay, so. Alright, we're good. Those are just pretty much the. Uh, that's just pretty much the relationship with the characters. The secrets, the bearings, the little girl. Team Taylor. Taylor disagreed with John's plan to head into town. Oh, that's probably going to bite me in the butt. Oh, God. Yeah, I want to make sure I cover all my bases here. I don't want to miss anything. Got a really strange fence here. Good oh. to see you two. Finally. Everything okay? Sure. We took the scenic route. You sure as hell took your own sweet time. I was getting worried. I bet you were. <laughs> this gate is chained. We can't get through. Look around. See if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push. That's what I'm talking about. Great job, you two. <laughs> okay. Reunited. Oh, no. I already said I want to wait at the bus for help, not head into town like John wants. And we've already concluded this conversation. Not with everyone here, we didn't. We should vote on it. No need for a vote. Decisions made. I'm just not going to say anything. I don't want to fuck up the relationship. I'm anymore. sorry, but we really don't have time to be arguing. You'll stay here with me, won't you? Uh. Looks like he ain't so keen after all. If you got <laughs> something to say to me, spit it out. <laughs> John's right. Heading into town is our quickest way to find help. Satisfied? Sure. Whatever you say. Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's rich, given how you badmouth Taylor on the way over. What did she say about me? You always get your boyfriend to stick up for you? Try doing it yourself sometime, <laughs> dear. I was not wasting my breath on your surprise. He's not my boyfriend. Uh, let me see this. You're kidding. He is not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? 
I'm still not sure heading into town is such a great idea. I'm going to hang out by the bus while you all do whatever you have to. You want to come along and wait with me? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. Uh, Andrew? Andrew. Say nothing. How about you? You want to head back to the bus? No, let's just go with them. Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at fun. God damn it. Let's just go with them. Fine. Come on, Taylor. Don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. No, dumbass. Go with them. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? what? I walked away from you. Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait. What are you doing? Taylor. Look out! What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back! I walk straight out every time! It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something! Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yo, that is trippy, dude. Wow. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's like you can't go back. Possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay, what do we do? calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in Little No Hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. I'm just gonna I'm apologetic, sorry. bro. I don't get what's happening to us. I don't understand. It's like you said, we're trapped in a nightmare. It's okay. We're gonna be just fine. We'll figure a way out of this together. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until just we know go with up, them already. Jesus Christ. I didn't know one single option was going to like... How'd you get that bruise? Cause all of this. No biggie. Must have got it when the bus crashed. That bruise means something, by the way. Witchcraft. I think. Stick close to Daniel. Follow John towards town. Yep, I'm sticking close to Daniel. I am not going to stay behind. Why did you say we might all be dead? 
You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. I don't like the look of that place at all. Whoa. Okay, so there's a black cat. I'm not sure this is such a great idea. We should check it out. There could be a phone inside. I'll go in and take a look around. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. Why aren't we going with those guys? I know something is up with you. You said I wasn't your boyfriend. Like, what a joke idea that is. <laughs> Are you for real? Our bus gets totaled, we get lost in fog, and your headline is some dumbass label? You're admitting boyfriend is not a label that you use for me. So what the fuck am I then? I've made some bad decisions, man. God, these things are fucking me up right now. I gotta be honest. Yeah, you know I was only messing with you. You didn't sound like you were messing just now. Confused. Mischievous. Come on, will you? That long one oh, face wow. doesn't suit you. Your attitude towards us sucks. I don't know what to say to that. Maybe she is right about you. Let's just forget it. Or maybe you like older women more. You seem to fawn over everything she says. Oh. I'm really trying hard to like you, but you're not making it easy. <laughs> if you want me to take you seriously, then your shit needs to hold together a lot more than it has up till now. Oh my god. You okay? I'm absolutely fine. Dude, those two choices earlier fucked us up, man. We will redeem ourselves, though. We will redeem ourselves, okay? <gasps> oh, what do we have here? Hi there. How you doing? Excuse me, but we're uh, looking for our bus driver. What? Have you seen him? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. What is? What's up with the fog outside? It's pretty weird. Yeah, it sure is a thick one tonight. So thick it's stopping us from leaving. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know that feeling. You mean you're trapped uh, sorry too? Sorry for busting in like this. Uh, bus we were on crashed a little way back up the road there. We're still a little shaken up. We're still a lot shaken up. You certainly look shook up. I'm Vince. I need a mirror. Maybe there's one here not covered in 20 years of- Sounds like you could use a drink. Better not, thanks. I need to keep a clear head. It's right there if you change your mind. Not for me. Remember, he has the, his other self has. Not for me. Drinking Why are problems. you even here? Little Hope sure isn't the town it used to be. What are you doing here? What happened here? What happened here? The place seems completely deserted. Little Hope feels a little like a ghost town and that fog life moves on you know but we don't all go with it why are you still here yeah if the place is as dead as you say what are you still doing here not come and go you know how it is anyway i can't help you what is this guy's problem there's definitely something off about him. <laughs> uh, he's harmless. Just had one too many. Let's look around. There must be something here that can help us. See what you can dig up. <clears throat> I 
Am I intruding here? Not at all. I was about to take a look around anyway. Don't ask. <clears throat> you need an umbilical cord. <clears throat> Son, at least I'm looking for a way out. What are you Just doing? a quick throw, and then we'll figure out how we're getting out of here. Try for a big double, or... Not my first time, Daniel. Shooting for double 20. Use. Okay, so you can play a little. Still got it. Now for triple 20. Easy peasy. Well, almost an Olympic shot after the night we've had. <laughs> they don't play darts in the Olympics. That'd be crazy. <laughs> that is one hell of a shot. <laughs> you did better than Taylor. Let's get back to why we came in here. Okay. The traits updated. Andrew, Angela, Daniel, Taylor. Dismissive. Okay. All right, so I say we start over here on this side. This is the telephone. Can we make a phone call? Yeah, I didn't think Fuck. so. God, it's so like dark and all oh, these fucking corners are creeping me out, man. Okay, can we go this way? I need a flashlight. Where's a flashlight when you need one, right? Can we speak to this guy? No? Here, talk. Oh, dude. Yo. Oh. What the fuck was that? Got anything else for us on Little Hope? Oh, booze gone in my head. You okay? I'm sure it's just one too many. We both had better days. Mm-mm. Can you help us or not? Anything you can do to help us would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> There's no goddamn us. I got so weird, dude. Search the bar to continue towards town. Compassionate. Examine. KLS 301 80 22 44 RT 477 402 unreadable. Oh, this place has some great history. As your children are your children interested in astrology, spirits, or ghosts, Rev Carson will advise parents on sign on signs to watch for and how these things are the left hand path to delinquency. And sanitism. Sanitism? No. Satanism. <laughs> 1970. Hmm. Got a newspaper. So here we have like different things from the past that belong to Little Hope. Hmm. Meeting votes for. I vaguely remember what happened here. All the factories closed down. A Little Hope Town Hall on Monday, the last residents of the town met with emergency manager Kathy Flint to vote for disincorporation. Since the closure of the Revenden textiles factory, a mass exodus has left the town with a few inhabitants and empty coffers. Flint was appointed as emergency manager to administer public services to the remaining residents. But the latest round of bank foreclosures means the last of the town's folks are planning to pack um, and move, uh, which will leave Little Hope virtually deserted, with no tax revenue coming in. We're faced with no option but to disincor but to disincorporate," said Flint. "It's so sad. The people have seen their town disappear around them. 
attempts to and that's that okay what do we have here picture 1917 june 6 i can't believe it these guys could be relatives that's them that's freaking them dude It's so crazy how this game does that. It's like their past lives and shit. It's all connected. Hey, this way. Let's get out of here and... You all hear that? I definitely heard something. Did you hear that as well? Come on. Whatever it was came from outside. I really think it's smart to go back outside? Well, there's nothing for us here. We need to move on. Best of luck. Hope you find what you're looking for. coming from the town did the old fucker just lock us out he was weird that old guy <laughs> sure was something off about him why come to creepy central just to get a top up what does that mean heading into little hope feels like our only option i'm not so sure about that where else can we go Leaving the black cat bar. Are you okay? You don't look too high. You look a little concerned. Oh, she's spying on this guy. Okay. He's just weird. Nothing here, right? Maybe we should stick to our group instead of wander, wa wandering around. Hey, let's go. Mom. Well, she's, she's my mom in the other life, but what is going on here? Come on. What are you doing? You want, you want to get killed? Wait, should we go? Hold up. Hold up. Do we go through here or do we go through here? The big difference. What do we have here? Examine. Oh, fuck me. <clears throat> yeah, pictures you discover can be viewed again in the collections and character screen. Yeah, that was some sort of demonic figure, if you will. And we've got a map here. Inspect. So we are Little Hope Town Map, a bird's eye view of our historical town. I think we're going the right way. Oh. Wow, dude, we literally we got so much crap to go through right now. It's not even funny. It's actually not funny at all. It's just creepy and scary. Okay, so we can't go this way. We're gonna have to take the road, but I'm kinda glad we came over here. All right, lady, let's go. Get a move on. You going to follow me? Yes? Okay. Keep walking down the road. This game looks so freaking realistic. Come on. Why are we alone? Literally, right now, we are just... Where's everybody at? That's fucking witchcraft. Yep. What the hell is this thing? Looks like some kind of effigy. A warning, perhaps. Or 
some other spiritual significance. Whatever it is, it gives me the creeps. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about it. I've heard more than enough, thank you. I'm sorry, I, I didn't scare you, did I? I don't know which is scarier, whatever this is or your morbid interest in it. Hmm, uncertain, assertive. I'm a little uncertain. I'm not superstitious, but stuff like what happened to us with the fog. Let's uh, catch up with the rest. I don't want to spend <laughs> any more time with this disgusting thing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we were being sympathetic. Can you two make an effort to not go so fast? See this? Oh fuck! Shit! Those are those are the camera angles, man. They mess with you, bro. I'm telling you, they're done on purpose. Oh! Hey, can you come over here? What's wrong? I just saw someone in the woods. I can't see anyone. I definitely saw someone. 100%. Sorry, I don't buy it. Nobody would be out here at this ungodly hour. Frustrated. Let's find the others. Okay. We really should catch up with the others. You two. We need to stick close. Oh. Uh. Do you believe me now? What the hell? Did you hear that? What on earth is that? <laughs> okay. Very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel, Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny. <gasps> well, she's scared now. Now she believes me. We've got this. Angela, stay close. Hey, wait for us. What Bro, is this that? is so spooky. Hey. Come and check this out. By the way, Bandai Namco was going to send me the little doll, and I told him not, not to. Because, yeah. Like, I just don't want to have that shit in my house. But they literally, it was part of a bundle, and I, I just said no. That, that's voodoo shit right there. Like, if you have that, you are fucking crazy. A puppet. A small handmade doll has been damaged. Oh, hi. <laughs> what is your name, sir? Light. I'm Andrew. Uh, I want to be polite. Shocked. I'm going to be polite just in case you um, want to kill me. Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. I'm not sure come that's play such a good Which trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see what you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's that's gonna be Angela. Be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Here. 
someone else out here, by the fire. What? I, I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? This place is all wrong. Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. <laughs> you didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? A little girl appeared. This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid, Mary, did she want to hurt you? She may be. She could have been malicious, I guess. <sighs> oh, God. I mean, I. You're burning up. That girl do something to you? Yeah, my fucking arm. We That's why I said malicious. Andrew. I'm okay. Pain's going away now. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. I only picked that because I saw my arm. And because of what happened in our dream that she burned everyone down. So, yeah, I don't think she's fucking nice. <sighs> Guys, we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Things are starting to ramp up for sure. The little girl finally appeared and made contact with us the second time but officially now the group knows about her and not just the bus driver we're still looking for the bus driver we found a really creepy dude in the bar that really wasn't much of a help but who knows i chose that the little girl might be dangerous because of what i've seen in the past i'm not just gonna say oh she's nice because she wanted to dance with me in the forest that's just creepy no I, it was an impactful choice for sure it might bite me in the butt later on but uh, i guess we'll see i did make some choices in the beginning i wasn't really proud of i didn't think the, the choices were going to be that impactful but I think we've been able to redeem ourselves a little bit later on into the story. Anyhow, that is a little hope part one. If you guys would like to see more, drop it a like. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you to Bandai Namco for giving me early access. All right, guys.